Hello everyone. Today you will study present tense. Present tense is used in a sentence to indicate that the action happens or takes place in the present time or at the time of speaking. Look at the examples. Example 1. She likes ice cream. Example 2. I go for a walk in the morning every day. children in example 1 she is a singular subject and with singular subject we use singular verb so here likes is a singular verb in present tense in example number 2 i go i is considered as a plural subject so we are using the base form of the verb that is go children like past tense present tense has also four forms they are simple present present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous now children first of all you will study simple present tense simple present tense indicates that an action happens regularly or often children simple present tense is used to express habitual action fact and universal truth children look at some of the examples of simple present tense first example is he goes for a walk daily children this sentence indicates regular action example number 2 she comes to school by bus this sentence also indicates regular action example number 3 the sun rises in the east this sentence indicates universal truth Example number 4 The earth revolves around the sun Children this sentence also indicates the universal truth Children you must know where to use the base form or simple form of verb and the s or es form of verb in simple present tense In simple present tense we use the simple form of the verb with the pronouns i v u and they look at the examples example 1 i sing well example 2 we work in the bank example 3 they run very fast example 4 you help tanishk with his homework in all these examples the subjects i we they and you are all plural subjects that's why we use the base form of the verb or simple form of the verb that is sing work run and help children we use the s form of the verb with singular subject that is singular noun and singular pronoun look at the examples example 1 she sings very well example 2 beena runs every morning in both the examples we used the s form of the verb that is sings and runs children the verbs ending with ch sh x and o usually take es form of the verb when used with singular subjects for example he brushes his teeth twice a day Example 2 My father reaches his office early Children in the first example brush is the main verb and sh is the last two letters of the verb So in such case we use the es form of the verb to make the verb singular in simple present tense In example number 2 reach is a main verb and ch is the last two alphabets so we used es to make the verb singular with the singular subject in simple present tense verbs ending with y we drop the y and add i and es when we use them with the singular subjects look at the examples example 1 a porter carries heavy loads 
my little brother cries a lot she always tries hard in all these examples we dropped y and added i es to make the verbs singular in simple present tense for some verbs that end in y but have a vowel before it we just add s when we use them with singular subjects now look at the examples the baby enjoys music he stays with his aunt in example number 1 enjoy is the base verb which has vowel o before y so we use s after y to make it singular verb in simple present tense and in example number 2 stay is the base verb which has vowel a before y so we use s after y to make it singular verb in simple present tense children look at the sentence structure in simple present tense children to make sentence in simple present tense you have to follow this sentence structure subject plus verb plus s or es plus object 